Okay, welcome back to the channel. You like what you're seeing, sub up. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we just got back. And you'll have to excuse my mess here in the yard a little bit. We've been cleaning out sheds and getting rid of some stuff. But I went and scored a few things. Now, this is one of them old size they used to mow the fields with and stuff. But uh, it's got the grain cradle on it. And they're getting kind of hard to find. I'm going to uh, clean that up a little bit, put linseed oil on it. And here's the first uh, little garden plow we got. And it needs new handles, but uh, the guy I'm working for, he's got cypress wood. So I'm going to get some cypress from him. I'm going to put new handles on that one. And then this one also needs new handles. I think this one might be a little bit newer plow. But, uh, yeah, need new wooden handles on that, so that's no big deal. We'll get this cleaned up and painted. It'll look like a shiny new nickel. And here's a Pioneer Racer sled. Now, it also needs a good cleaning. And uh, I got to mend one place here on it. And I've done several of these, and they're not hard to mend. And then we'll uh, put the varnish to that and paint them runners and stuff up. And then here we got the clothes drying rack. I got one little rung back there, but it's a clean break. So I'll be able to just dab a little bit of wood glue in there and put the clamp on it. And we'll probably just give it a light sanding to clean it up. So she'll put that to use. Okay, now we got this wheelbar and take that over my mother's and uh, I'll coat the inside with some of that rust proof paint. But uh, take that over, use it for uh, hauling in her firewood and in it. There's a little bow saw. Here's one of them double bit axes. I'm not going to dig everything out, but there's a little short shovel, a D-handled shovel. A pair of loppers. And most of that just needs like a linseed oil on the handles. And then this has got a long handle on it. And I think somebody kind of made this up. But, uh... I think it's some kind of like maybe they used a uh, part of the blade off a sickle bar mower or something and made themselves a homemade cultivator. I'm not sure, I'm not an expert on all this stuff. But there's a nice five tine pitchfork and I can get a handle for that up the flea market for I think or $10. And there's a nice little potato fork, a little D handle, a little sanding, a little linseed oil. But yeah, there you go. We just got home from making this score. So we got the wheelbar and all that stuff. The closed drying rack. The sled. There's a, the first plow. Here's another plow. Like I say, I'll get wooden handles on them. That's no big deal at all. And then the uh, side with the uh, grain crate on it and now i'll give you the best part of it all 20 bucks i got 20 bucks into all this and i needed a wheelbar anyhow because mom's is rusted out so perfect score all right guys thanks for watching we'll talk at you later have a blessed day and a blessed week